taking payments online um, even the earliest that you could order groceries would be Monday morning and again I need groceries today because I order groceries every Friday so I wasn't gonna stop what I'm doing um, because of the chaos that's going on right now so I just went to our local Dollar General Market um, I don't mind going there for things here and there but um, sometimes things are a little bit more expensive I think I did pretty well. I walked in there with a $300 budget and came out um, only spending $264. Um, obviously there are some things I still need, but I don't think I would have went over even if they had it. Um, I wouldn't have went over my budget. So I always know what I'm going in for and I don't buy outside of that unless I'm substituting it for a different item, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because it is a lot. Um, a lot of canned stuff. I have a pretty decent amount of canned items in my pantry already, but if stores happen to close or shelves become empty, um, I don't want to have to go out and get anything. I want to have it stocked up for at least three weeks, four weeks. Um, so that's what I did on certain canned items and like pantry items, but Meats and stuff obviously are going like crazy, and um, that's the last thing that I need to order, so, or buy. Um, everything's kind of all over the place. I was there for two hours, so I'm just going to show you what all I got and start putting it away. I'm probably going to do the cold items first. So, first thing is eggs. Um, I just got it in case a recipe called for it. Um... I did get some waffles. This was the last box of waffles that they had. Uh, popcorn shrimp for Colby. They had a bunch of these out, which I don't know why no one would get them, I guess because of the price, but it's these Smithfield pork loins, which are so good. So I got that. I should have got more than that, but I did get that. I got a bunch of fruit, so um, I got some grapes. Last thing, the strawberries that they had. Apples, I'm going to cut these up and get them prepared. Oops, um, and the last thing of blueberries that they had. Everyone looked at me like I was crazy because my cart was completely full. And I just kept adding stuff, but that's literally what we spend a week anyways, so... It's just funny when you get those stairs. Um, Alright, then I got some carrots because this is what I eat for lunches and snacks throughout the day. Um, some lettuce for burrito bowls. Uh, 
dinosaur nuggets, chicken strips. These are just off brand. Two packs of hot dogs. Two things of Tostino's pizzas. I got some chicken patties for Colby and I. Um, some roast beef. Some sliced cheese, Swiss cheese for my meals and lunches. Another pack of hot dogs, butter, two things of these chicken pot pies for Colby, string cheese. Five of these Oikos triple zeros. I was surprised they had them there, but some creamer. Bag of chicken breast because this is literally all they had out for chicken. Shrimp. Half a gallon of milk. They were out of whole milk, so I just got 2%. And then the last cold items were two things of almond milk because the kids can drink this with their Nesquik. Dry, dry foods. I got a small thing of sugar because we are pretty sucked up on sugar. Four things of just cheap paper towels. I still need to get more baby snacks because the girls eat like crazy, but I did get three of these cereals, one in each flavor that they had. I got two of these puffs, one of these Munchables, and then three of the yogurt melts. This is just the yogurt melt, and then I got two of the fruit and vegetable melts. Ketchup, we try to stay on top of this like crazy, so we probably have a good bit of that in the fridge and in the pantry, but I wanted to get one more. This was the only Dave's bread they had left. It's raisin, so I'm hoping it's gonna taste good with my turkey and Swiss sandwiches, but we'll see. Bread for Colby. I just needed some more coffee. I just didn't even care what kind it was as well as coffee filters. Um, I got the girls some of this. Um, I hadn't seen Zarbies in the Dollar General Market. So I went ahead and got them this because I don't have a baby one yet. And this is just the cough syrup and mucus for two months and up. But they're almost a year old next month. So I got this because they're, um, the other Zarbies that they have is almost gone. I just buy Maverick the cheapest size six diapers, the small packs every week. Um, he has a whole pack in his room, but I just got another pack of small because he's still potty training. Um, four chicken and a can things. Yep, yeah, ask Bubby to help you. Four more of these tunas. I have a couple more in my pantry still. Um, Parmesan cheese. I didn't know how much I had of this. I have a lot, but oh well. I use it like crazy. For some reason, I only have one can of this. Um, I don't think that's right. So I think I grabbed more than one. So I might pick up more of these. Two Sloppy Joe cans. We were out of green beans. So I just got two green beans because I didn't have the French style and that's the one we like. Four things of corn because we eat that like crazy. Um, I got a bunch of these. I got a chili mix, two brown gravies for, um, what's it called? I got that for our, what's it called? Roast beef sandwiches. I got four taco seasonings and a ranch packet for our pork chops, even though we still don't have pork chops for this week. I got 
got four different soups. I haven't tried these out, but I saw um, someone who just posted today about getting these soups. I think it was Bits of Brie. But it's the Campbell's Chunky, so I got the chicken tortilla because she recommended it. The Jazzy Jambalaya. I have a mosquito on my back. Um, Pub Style Chicken Pot Pie. And the another jambalaya one. Two red ragu sauces. They didn't have the ones I liked. And two Alfredo sauces. Again, they didn't have the ones I liked. You get what you get. You don't throw a fit, though. I got some ranch to go with my carrots. The kids are going to be home for a month because their school is closed down for that long. So, um, I needed to make sure I was set on snacks and um, breakfast and stuff like that. So, I did get them some oatmeal. My friend Macy went with me. I'm going to be watching her daughter too so she did order um she did get some groceries that she's gonna bring back next week um i got two big boxes of these shells and cheese no more i got two boxes of juice boxes got some boosters for my laundry some trash bags. You're alright. Got some tortillas for tacos. Some more peanut butter for my green apples that I have for a snack. More mayo. I'm almost done, okay? I will get you some in a minute. Okay. I got some of the chicken stuffing mix, some more hamburger helper, more mashed potatoes, some vegetable crackers for the kids, and some chicken and biscuits. I also got them some cheese sticks and some little cheap cookies because potty training and all that. I got three bags of these veggie straws of the sea salt and then two of the zest, zesty ranch. They were out of the big bag, so I just got the rest that they have on the shelf. I needed razors, so I picked that up. I got some toothpaste for the kids because they're almost out. And then I got some soap for them because... They're almost, well, I needed a backup in case something did happen and I couldn't get to the store. So I just got them this um, Soft Whisper body wash. But I think I'm going to go online and order some actual kids body wash. And then Colby and I need body wash as well. So hopefully I'll be in luck and I'll be able to find something that can be shipped here pretty fast. But other than that, that's my haul. I haven't done one in a very long time. But... Everyone, I know I definitely watched what everyone was uh, ordering and buying recently. Um, but this is, like I said, this is usually the amount of stuff that we get. So it wasn't that big of a deal financially. But you definitely have to start thinking of more non-perishable items in case you are on quarantine or anything like that. But I think overall we did pretty well. I'm going to, like I said, go online after I put all of this stuff away and see what is available still and what isn't. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some pretty good ideas on what you can get, especially if your child's school is closed down for as long as ours is. Um, but yeah, God bless and I'll talk to y'all soon.